goes to school. Here, boy. Come back, Gaston. <laughs> Naughty Gaston. <laughs> uh, Holly and Ben, please keep Gaston under control. Sorry, Daddy. Hello, Strawberry. Hello, Holly. I've come to show you my new pet. <laughs> Ooh, come in. Hello, everyone. This is Fufu, my rainbow beetle. I say. She's very pretty. <laughs> Watch this. Fufu, sit. Ooh. Roll over. Ooh. Shake hands. Wow, that's amazing. I've been taking Fufu to pet school. Well, it's very impressive. Why can't Gaston do tricks like that? Gaston can do tricks. Really? Yes. We've been teaching him to fetch your slippers. Oh, I'd like to see that. Gaston, fetch Daddy's slippers. <laughs> 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 Good boy, Gaston. Drop the slippers, Gaston. <laughs> drop! <laughs> drop! Drop! <laughs> he ate my slippers. Sorry, Daddy. Bad, Gaston. <laughs> uh, sit, Gaston. Sit, I say. Uh, I think it's about time Gaston was trained. He can go to pet school with Fufu. Good idea, Strawberry. Lead the way. Here we are. This is pet school. Look, all our friends are here. Hello, this is my pet, Stanley the insect. Ruff, ruff. Hello, Hello, Stanley. Gaston! It's all right, Daddy. They're just saying hello. <laughs> this is my pet, Bobby B. <laughs> hello, Bobby B. This is my pet, Archie the ant. <laughs> Hello, Archie. Hello there. Oh, no. It's King and Queen Marigold. Well, hello. How nice to see you. We always bring our pedigree greenfly to pet training. We've brought our ladybird. Well, you remember Lucinda, Gucci and Timmy? Timmy, say hello to the ladybird. <laughs> Timmy! Oh, no. Gaston, spit Timmy out. Sorry about that. Look, here comes Miss Jolly. Who's Miss Jolly? Whoa! <gasps> Whoa, trigger! <laughs> Steady, boy! Morning, everybody! I'm Miss Jolly. Morning, Miss Jolly! Everyone on time. Good show. Well done, Archie. Nice posture, Stanley. <laughs> She's funny. Chin up, Bobby. That's better. Let's face the future like we mean it. Aha! A new pet. Wonderful. Does he have a name? He's called Gaston. And I'm Holly. I'm Ben. And I'm King Thistle. Hello, Gaston. Well. <laughs> Now, Mr. Thistle, why isn't Gaston wearing a lead? Uh... He never wears a lead. Nonsense! He has to wear a lead to be trained. Uh, he's not really trainable. Poppycock! All pets are trainable by Miss Jolly. Tell him to sit down. Ah, uh, sit, Gaston. Sit down, please. You see, it's impossible. Sit! <laughs> oh. Just be firm. Let your pet know who's boss. Now, let's all show Gaston how we walk with a lead. Nice and upright. That's it. Do you want to have a go, Gaston? No, don't talk to Gaston like that. Who's the boss here? Well, I've always thought of Gaston as a friend. You're the boss, so show him that. Gaston, heel. Knees up, Gaston. Chin in the air. Don't slouch. Good boy, Gaston. What a good boy. Now you do it, Mr. Thistle. Ah, uh, heel? Not bad, but louder. Heel! Okay, to the obstacle course, everyone. 
Don't dilly dally! Now the seesaw! Very good! Through the tunnel! Excellent! Round the poles! And jump over the mud pit! No flying, please, Bobby. Come on, Gaston, jump over. Remember who's in charge. Gaston, jump! That's it. Now the seesaw. Good work. Straight through, please. Good boy, Gaston. Round the poles. And jump over the mud pit. Uh-oh. Gaston's in the mud. He's covered in it. Ha <laughs> ha! No harm in a bit of mud, is there, Gaston? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Gaston is going to shake himself dry. <gasps> Sorry, Miss Jolly. <laughs> You're a mucky pup, aren't you, Gaston? But next time, you will jump over! Now. Who'd like to show us all a trick? Oh, oh, me first. My green flies can dance. Oh. Archie can lift really heavy things. Wow! Stanley can walk on his front legs. Ooh. Bobby B can do a somersault. <laughs> Whoa! Fufu can shake hands. Amazing! And what about Gaston? Uh, he does know how to fetch shoes. Excellent! But maybe it's not a good time to see it. Fiddlesticks! No time like the present. Gaston! Fetch my boot! Oh no! Gaston is going to eat Miss Jolly's boots! Drop! Hey. Hooray! Wow! He didn't eat it! Gaston is now trained! Thank you, Miss Jolly! My pleasure! Just remember Miss Jolly's simple rule! Show them who's boss! Yes, Miss Jolly! Bye! Doodle Pip! Bye, Bye Miss, Miss Jolly. Jolly! It seems a bit silly to keep Gaston on the lead. But, Daddy, you're meant to show Gaston who's boss. Oh, I'm sure it wouldn't do any harm. Just this once. There we go. Oh, well. Should we keep Gaston outside? Nanny doesn't like his muddy feet indoors. Oh, yes. Gaston, wait outside. <laughs> oh. Well, I think we can bend the rules just this once. <laughs> Hello. How was training? It was amazing. Miss Jolly put Gaston on a lead. Yes. Gaston is completely trained. He does everything I say. Really? Yes. He can even fetch shoes properly now. Goodness. Are you sure? Oh, yes. Watch this. Gaston, fetch the Queen's slippers, please. Good boy, Gaston. Drop. 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 Please. Mm. Uh. Ah! He's eaten my slippers! What's gone wrong? He was trained a minute ago. But, Daddy, you did break Miss Jolly's rules. Yes, we were supposed to show Gaston who's boss. What do you mean? You shouldn't have let him off the lead. And you shouldn't have let him come in the castle. You're right. I should be much firmer with him. Gaston, sit. Sit. Oh, well, pet school isn't such a big deal anyway. The important thing is Gaston knows who's boss. <laughs> Come on, Gaston. Off my throne. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I'll just sit down here. <laughs> yes, I think Gaston does know who's the boss. <laughs> Springtime! 
Wow! Look at all the lovely tulips. Yes, Holly. It's the first day of spring. Wow! There's a flower right outside our window. All the daffodils have come up. I love springtime. Ben! Ben! Are you coming out to play? I'll be right down. Have you seen all the flowers? Yes, and... Oh, those leaves are moving. There's something in there. It's coming out. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, a little hedgehog. <laughs> Gaston's frightened him. He's rolled up into a ball. Sorry, Mr Hedgehog. Oh, a hedgehog. <laughs> He's woken up for the spring. Woken up? Yes, some creatures sleep all through the winter. Don't they get very hungry? They make sure they have a big meal before going to sleep. Oh, there's something else waking up. And it's big. It could be a bear. It could be a... Hello there. Ah! The gnome! Do gnomes sleep through the winter too? Yes, and when they wake up, they're very hungry. Ah, what's for breakfast? Uh, Mr Gnome, wouldn't you like to sleep a bit more? Hey, What do you mean? Uh, maybe it's not springtime yet. We could still get some snow. Eh, Nanny Plum? Ow! Stop it! It could snow at any moment, couldn't it? Ow! I don't think so. It could snow if magic was used. Oh! You want me to magic some snow so he'll think it's still winter. Shh! Why didn't you say so? Oh, dear me, it's snowing. I'd better go back to sleep. Hang on. Over here, it's sunny and there's flowers. You try to trick me. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> I like a good joke. Shame I don't know any. I've had some funny dreams, though. Would you like to hear them? Uh, no, thank you. Yes, there's nothing so boring as other people's dreams. Anyway, I dreamt I was in this rowboat and the oars were made of cheese. Then a lot of pigeons wearing pyjamas started chasing me. How interesting. <gasps> There's lots more to tell. But first, I need food. Hello there. Ah! I mean, hello, Mr Gnome. This looks like a nice comfy house. I wouldn't mind living here. Uh, you can't live here. I like a man who speaks his mind. We'll have some good chats while I'm living here. Mr Gnome, we'd really love to have you stay, but the front door is too small for you. Well, if you really want me to stay, I'll try my best. <laughs> Nearly there. Just my bottom to go. Hello, everyone. It's a bit of a squeeze in here. I'll just move this little staircase. He's eating everything! <clears throat> What's for dessert? <laughs> Save your food! Mr Gnome, wouldn't you rather live somewhere with other gnomes? Oh, no. Gnomes don't like other gnomes. Gnomes tell very boring stories. You never get two gnomes living within a hundred miles of each other. Hello? Nanny Plum, you must come back to the little castle at once. Sorry, King Thistle, but we're having a problem with a gnome. What? But I've got a gnome at the castle. Is there any more toast? There must be two gnomes. <laughs> no need to panic. What do you mean? You heard what the gnome said. Gnomes don't like other gnomes. We just have to get them together. When they see each other, they'll run a mile. Problem solved. Yay! We'll arrange for both gnomes to meet each other at Big Hill. You seem to be out of food. Have you tried the breakfast tree on Big Hill? Breakfast tree? Never heard of it. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it, Nanny Plum? Ow! What did you nudge me for? Yes, over on Big Hill, there's a tree that grows sausages and eggs and bacon. Is there? I've never seen it. Ow! You don't even know you're doing it. Nanny, he wants...
wants you to magic one. Oh, I see. You want me to magic up a breakfast tree? Shush. OK, then. Hmm. I can smell breakfast from here. Hello. Quick, Your Majesty. Tell your gnome that there's a breakfast tree on Big Hill. Ooh! They say that breakfast don't grow on trees, but my, my! A tree with eggs, bacon, sausages and toast. The most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Look, they're about to meet and run a hundred miles from each other. Uh, a gnome! What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Go on, then. What are you doing here? I like breakfast. Would you like to know why? No. I'll take that as a yes. It's because I like fried eggs and sausages and bacon and pancakes and... <coughs> You've eaten it all! Well, if you didn't talk so much, you could do some eating. Right! I'm going a hundred miles away from you. I'm going a thousand miles away from you. It worked. They've both left the little kingdom. What a brilliant plan. Well done, Nanny Plum. Thank you, King Thistle. <clears throat> it was my idea, Your Majesty. No, it wasn't. I thought of getting them together. I magicked up the breakfast tray. Let's just say elf cleverness and fairy magic has saved the day. Yay! She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. Still here! We thought you'd uh, gone far away. I tried, but I just can't get her out of my head. That lady gnome's beautiful, isn't she? Do you like the way her eyes sort of sparkle? For pity's sake, can't we talk about something else? OK, then. Don't you think she has pretty ears? Oh, this is terrible. He's in love with her. That's springtime for you. He's a fine figure of a gnome, isn't he? Oh, yes. And hasn't he got a nice big tummy? If you say so. I've made up a song about him. Would you like to hear it? No. I'll take that as a yes. Oh, look, I think he's coming. <gasps> Is he? How do I look? Is my hat on straight? Oh, it's you. I thought you'd gone. Yes, well, I, I just... That is to say, I, er... Uh... That's the first time I've seen a gnome lost for words. Would you like to hear a song I've written? <laughs> yes. I'll take that as a yes. Oh, my lady gnome has lots of lovely hair and lots of pretty eyes and ears so fair. <laughs> I like it. I'm Gloria. They're friends now. Gloria, will you be my own lady gnome and live with me forever in the little kingdom? Yes, I will. Come, my dear. I'll show you your new house. Here we are. This is where we'll be living. Ooh! Whose idea was it to get them together? Nanny Plum, Your Majesty. No, it wasn't. It was your idea. Well, you made the breakfast tree. You told me to. Stop! Stop! What are we going to do about it? We can have a big wedding. Hello again. I'm afraid we have some bad news. What is it now? We've had a look at the elf tree and Gloria feels it's a bit tiny. I'm sorry we didn't design our elf tree for gnomes to live in. Nice of you to apologise, but it's still too small. And your castle isn't really to our taste. It's too old-fashioned. Old-fashioned? And drafty. So I'm afraid we'll have to find somewhere else. Oh, well, goodbye. It's a shame we won't see you ever again. Oh, don't worry. We'll be back for our holidays. See you next spring. Fox cubs. 
Are you looking forward to your first day at Fox Cubs, Ben? Yes, Dad. I loved being a Fox Cub when I was your age. I've still got my hat. In my day, it was Old Grey Wolf in charge. They've got a new leader now. I wonder who it is. Welcome to Fox Cubs, everybody. I'm the new leader. Hello, Hello Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum. Don't call me Nanny Plum. I'm Fluffy Owl, to wit to woo. Hello, Fluffy Owl. To wit to woo. <coughs> Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Hello, Nanny Plum. What are you doing here? I'm the new Fox Cub leader. You have to call me Fluffy Owl. To wit to woo. Oh, hello, Fluffy Owl. You have to say the to wit to woo bit as well. Ta wit ta woo. You're just in time for the badges. Oh, is someone getting a badge? Ben, you're going to have so much fun getting your badges. Dad, what badges did you get when you were a fox cub? I got an adventure badge, a sailing badge and a knots badge. A knots badge? Yes. After days and days of tying knot after knot, I finally got my knots badge. It was hard work, but worth it. Who wants a badge? Eh? Everyone step forward and tell me what badge you'd like. You first, Rosie. Can I have an adventure badge, please? One adventure badge. But, but... Can I have a sailing badge? Of course. One sailing badge. Strawberry, what would you like? A knots badge, please. Here you go. Stop it. Stop it at once. You don't just hand out badges. Why not? You have to earn your badges. To get my adventure badge, I had to spend three days camping in the wild. Well, I watched a whole night of TV for my watching TV badge. Watching TV badge? That's not what the Fox Cubs are about. The Fox Cubs are about having adventures in the wild. Adventures do sound like fun. We like adventures. Mr Elf, can we have an adventure in the wild? Well, it's not up to me. It's up to Fluffy Owl. Oh, very well. Follow me, everyone. OK, here we are, having an adventure. What do we do? Well, imagine we had to look for food. How do we find food here? Fluffy Owl, why don't you show the children how to find food in the wild? All right. This way, everyone. Now they'll see. It's not easy to find food in the wild. Hiya! We found food. Ice cream! Ice cream? Yes, from the ice cream van over there. But that's cheating! Look, you said find some food, so we did. Now you're changing the rules. We got you a raspberry ripple, Mr Elf. OK, moving on from finding food. Does anybody know how to make a shelter? Oh, me! Me! I brought my tent. Watch this. There we go. Ooh. It's got five bedrooms, a bathroom, a television and even a cellar. Oh, it's amazing. The best tent in the world. We can't sleep in that. Why not? What's wrong with being comfortable when you're on holiday? This is an adventure, not a holiday. We'll make a shelter out of two twigs and a leaf. You lean the twigs up like this and... Hey, presto, what have you got? Two twigs and a leaf. Where's the bed? You sleep on the ground. It's nature's bed. Lovely and cosy. But why bother when you can sleep in my castle tent? You're missing the point. Do you fox cubs want a real adventure? Yes! Good. If you're going to learn how to survive in the wild, you have to be in the wild. Like, uh, at the top of a mountain. What? Fluffy Owl, please magic us to the top of a mountain. OK. Abracadabra. Wow, we're at the top of a real mountain. Fantastic. Now, how are we going to get home? Easy. I'll magic us home. Let's say you don't have your wand with you. OK, I'll call for help. No phone either. Hello, hello. But that's going to make it very, very difficult to get home. Exactly. But when you get home, you will have earned your adventure badge. So, what do we do first? 
Maybe we should start by working out which mountain we're on. Good, Ben. That's exactly what we should do. Fluffy Owl, which mountain did you magic us to? No idea. What? You just said a mountain. I don't know one mountain from another. Well, that makes things a bit tricky. Why? Because we don't even know what country we're in. Oh. Perhaps you should magic us back home and we'll start again. I can't. You threw my wand down the mountain. Oh, yes. Let's ring for help. But you threw Fluffy Owl's phone down the mountain too. Oh, yes. So I did. You wanted us to be lost. Now we're lost. Happy now? I'm sure Mr Elf wouldn't have sent us to the top of a mountain if he didn't know how to get us home. Thank you, Strawberry. OK, I think I can work out where we are by using my compass. Let's see. North is that way and the position of the sun is... Oh, my goodness! We're on Everest! What's that, then? Mount Everest! The tallest mountain in the whole world! Is Mount Everest far from home, Dad? A bit far from home, Ben, yes. And is it really very high? A bit high? Yes, Holly. I suppose we could just climb down. Just climb down? Just climb down Everest? The enormous, treacherous mountain of rock and ice? Perilous cliff after perilous cliff that could only be conquered by the world's greatest mountaineers? So, Mount Everest is not safe for children to climb down? No, Mount Everest isn't child-friendly. So what do we do now, Mr Einstein? I don't know. Oh, if only we had my castle tent. <sighs> what good would that do? We could watch TV. Could a fairy fly for help? In that wind, you'd be blown away. No, what we need is someone who can climb down the mountain and fetch help. I know, Gaston is good at climbing. <coughs> good idea, Ben. Go, Gaston, go. Get help. <coughs> it may be some time before Gaston returns. After climbing down the mountain, he will have to journey through the jungle, cross the desert, swim the ocean before he arrives at the little kingdom. Hello, Gaston. <coughs> What's that? All the children and Fluffy Owl and Mr Elf all trapped at the top of a mountain, you say? <coughs> then this is a job for Old Grey Wolf. Ow! Lead the way, Gaston. <coughs> is this mountain far? Still further? Oh, are we nearly there? So, quite a way then. Gaston's been gone for ages. I hope he's all right. Gaston! And he's brought Old Grey Wolf. Oh, I'm very pleased to see you, Old Grey Donkey. It's Old Grey Wolf, and you have to say, Awoo! OK, Awoo! What's your plan, Old Grey Wolf? Awoo. Awoo. Have you brought the elf helicopter to lift us to safety? Or a team of mountain rescue elves to carry us down the mountain? Uh, actually, I, I set off in, in a bit of a hurry and you were a bit further away than I expected. So, you're just here on your own without a plan of any sort? Uh, yes, that's about it. Maybe you should do a bit of a magic? I'd love to. But he threw my wand away. So that's why I found it at the bottom of the mountain. Oh, it's good to have you back again. So, if you wouldn't mind um, magicking us back home? No problemo. Hooray! That was a really good adventure. Thank you, Fluffy Owl. Twit woo. Well, you should thank Mr Elf. It was his idea. Thank you, Mr Elf. Yes, Dad. It was great. Ho, oh, oh. ho. And I think all of you fox cubs have earned your adventure badges. Indeed. Adventure badges for everyone. Thank, Thank you, Old Grey Wolf. Wow. And for fetching help in the fox cubs' hour of need, one of you has earned the rescue badge. Gaston, of course. <laughs> Gaston to the rescue! Oh. <laughs> Bunty Two. 
Hello, everybody. May I present my new boat, Bunty 2. Bunty 2? Yes. You remember my old boat, Bunty? Bunty was a lovely boat. Yes, Bunty was a lovely boat. Until she met Big Bad Barry. You all know what happened then. Barry ate Bunty. Yes, Barry has eaten every boat I've ever made. But now I've built Bunty 2. My best boat ever. Six bedrooms, three bathrooms, a kitchen, a sun lounge. The ideal boat for a cruise to a tropical paradise. A cruise to a tropical paradise? How wonderful! And Bunty 2 doesn't run on clockwork. She runs on batteries. So she's super fast. to stop Big Bad Barry eating this boat. Aha! I have a brilliant plan. What's the plan? Bunty 2 is never going in the water. Never going in the water? Yes. Barry is not going to eat Bunty 2. This is ridiculous. Why did you build a boat that you're not going to put in the water? Just for something to do. So we're not sailing to the tropical paradise? Nope. Oh, Dad! I thought we were all going on holiday. I've got a good idea. As your king, I command you to put Bunty 2 in the water and sail us to the tropical paradise. But what about Big Bad Barry? Don't worry. If Barry eats Bunty 2, I'll take full responsibility. What does that mean? You can blame it on me. The king is so wise. But, but... Good. That's sorted then. We're going on holiday. OK, but if we're going to do it, I'm in charge. And that means... Oh, this is an elf holiday, so no magic. Yay! A holiday! Next stop, the ocean! Yes, but first we have to get past Barry. You worry too much, Mr Elf. Maybe Barry won't turn up. Oh, look! There's Barry! Ah! What do we do? What do we do? There's just one chance. Bunty 2 is super fast. It's working, Mr. Elf. We're faster than Barry. We've left Barry really far behind. Good. He's given up. Hooray! Right, everybody. Let's sail to the tropics and swim among the corals. We're going on holiday, we're going on holiday. We're going on holiday to a tropical paradise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr Elf, it's lovely to see you so relaxed. Yes, with Barry far away, I'm actually enjoying this holiday. We're here, in the tropical ocean. Let's go diving. Cool. <laughs> Mrs Elf, are you coming diving? Um, no thanks. I need to catch up on some important reading. Right all. See you later. Chapter one. I was just a young servant girl and Squire Trevelyan, with his dark, broody looks and mane of black hair, was being very grumpy. I didn't like him at all. This is the coral reef. Amazing! Yes, it's all so pretty. Do you think we'll bump into anyone else down here? In the middle of a vast ocean? We're not going to bump into anyone. Ah, watch where you're going. Oh, I'm most terribly sorry. I didn't see you there. Well, I am here, and I'm not pleased to be bumped into. Not pleased at all. It's Captain Squid, the pirate. Yes, it is I, Captain Squid, and I'm here burying my treasure. Burying your treasure? At the bottom of the ocean? The thing is, every place I bury my treasure, it gets found. So I thought if I bury it at the bottom of the ocean, where no people ever visit, maybe, just maybe, my treasure might stay hidden. It's not too much to ask, is it? Well, we're very sorry to disturb you. We'll be on our way. Yes, be off with you. Get your own ocean to swim in. 
Uh, hang on a moment. There is uh, something you could help me with. What's that? It's a bit embarrassing, but uh, I haven't got a boat to sail home in. Can I have a lift? What happened to your boat? It got eaten by a big fish. Barry! Barry's here! The fish that ate my boat had big eyes. That's Barry. And a big mouth. That's Barry! And eight legs. That's not Barry. A fish with eight legs? Yes, it's a giant octopus and it's swimming towards your boat. Ah, I have to warn Mrs Elf. And then Squire Trevelyan said, Here is the great secret I must tell you. The person I truly love is... <coughs> yes, this had better be important. Yes, uh, don't panic, but there is something swimming towards you. Oh, yes, what sort of a something? Uh, a sort of hungry giant octopus with eight legs something. Oh, yes, I see it. What should I do? Would you mind telling it not to eat my boat? Now, listen here, Mr Octopus. This boat is not for eating. What's happening? The octopus seems to be eating your boat. Quick, to the surface. Naughty octopus. Stop eating. Stop at once, I say. <laughs> Boat eaten! I said this would happen! No, you said your boat would be eaten by Big Bad Barry, but it was eaten by a giant octopus. It's a disaster! Don't worry, I said I'd take responsibility and I will. And? That's it, I've taken responsibility. Fine. Well, I hate to ask, but Nanny Plum, can you magic a boat up so we can go home? No. Why not? Because you said blah, 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 no magic, and you took my wand away, remember? Oh, yes, so I did. So, we're stranded here. No, I've just had a brilliant Mr Elf idea. I'll build a raft out of the wreckage. And we'll help you. Yes, Dad. We'll lash the pieces together with rope. There, finished. May I present Bunty 3? What's Bunty 3? This boat. Bunty 2 was prettier. It's not meant to be pretty. It's a raft. I know what a raft is. Where's the bathroom? Is it downstairs? Ah, there isn't a downstairs. Don't be too harsh on Nanny. She doesn't know as much about rafts as us sailors. By the way, where's the kitchen? Is that downstairs too? Yes, it's probably next to the sitting room. This is a raft. There aren't sitting rooms and kitchens and bathrooms. It's not very luxurious then, is it? No, it's not. But it will get us home. And so, Squire Trevelyan turned out to be nice after all. And I married him. The end. My goodness! That was a surprise ending. Land ahoy! We're home! Yes, but that means we're near to Big Bad Barry. Stop worrying, Mr Elf. Barry might not turn up. Oh, look! There's Barry! Oh, he's been waiting for us all this time. How sweet. He's going to eat Bunty 3. Yum, yum. Ah! Abandoned ship! Abandoned ship! Don't worry, everyone. Whatever happens, I will take full responsibility. That makes everything all right, then. My boat is gone. Gone into Barry's tummy. Curse you, Big Bad Barry. You'll never eat another boat of mine. Never. Never. Because I'm not going to build a boat ever again. I think you've upset Barry, Mr Elf. Look at his sad little face. <laughs> he is crying. I've never seen a fish cry. You shouldn't be so unkind to Barry. What? Yes, Barry doesn't mean any harm. Doesn't mean any harm? Mr Elf, as your king, I command you to build another boat for Barry. Eh? What sort of boat would you like, Barry? A sailing boat? Yum, yum. A sailing boat for Barry, please, Mr Elf. King Thistle is so wise. Yes, we are very lucky. 
and the wise old elf swap jobs for one whole day. Fairy cakes. Who wants fairy cakes? Oh, yes, please. Wise old elf. Hmm, don't mind if I do. Ah, my ears are wiggling. That means there's magic about. Well, I did make the cakes with magic. Why can't you make cakes the normal way? By baking them in the oven. I don't have time for baking in ovens. I have lots of work to do. Ha! Ah, what work? I do more work than you. No, you don't. I do more work than you. I could do what you do, no problem. I could do what you do easily. Why don't you swap jobs? Then you'd know who does the most work. Good idea. Ho, ho, ho. Very funny, Your Majesty. I'm not joking. As your king, I command you to swap jobs for one day. The wise old elf can be Nanny. And Nanny can be the wise old elf. But... But... No buts. It's a royal command. All right, then. You'd better have my hat. And you'd better have my apron. Now, I'd better warn the elves what they're in for. Calling all elves. Just for today, somebody else is going to be the wise old elf. Who is it? Me! <gasps> Danny Plum! Don't worry. She won't do any magic. She has to do everything the elf way. I'm the wise old elf. Ahem. <clears throat> Magic always leads to trouble. Well, I have to go. I'm being Nanny Plum for the day. Goodbye. Oh, I should have taken Nanny's wand away. Don't worry. Nanny said she wouldn't do any magic. Hmm, I'll know if she does. My ears will wiggle. So, what does the wise old elf do all day? He has a list of jobs. He starts with the toy factory. Hello, everyone. I'm the wise old elf. Don't worry. It's just for today. Oh, I see. Um, well, wise old elf, the glute machine is broken. Can you fix it? No problemo. Time for a bit of magic. My ears are wiggling. Nanny is doing magic. Hello? No magic. All right. Keep your hair on. Nanny, you're the wise old elf today, remember? Oh, yes. How would he fix the gloop machine? He'd probably just kick it. OK. The packaging machine isn't working. Do you want me to kick it? Yes, please, wise old elf. The paint machine needs fixing. Oh, my foot's beginning to ache. Wise old elf. I'm Nanny Plum today, Your Majesty. Do you have Nanny's list of jobs? List of jobs? I don't think she has one. Nanny isn't one for lists. Why not start by washing my socks? All right, let's go down to the washing room. Oh, these stairs are going up. But a moment ago, they went down. Yes, it's magic. The stairs change all the time. The rooms get bored, so they move around. The toilet was on the roof once. Yes, that was fun. But how do I get down to the kitchen? You ask the stairs to go down. Stairs go down. You have to say the magic word. What magic word? Abracadabra? No, please. Oh, please go down. Thank you. Right, let's get these dirty clothes into the washing machine. How do I turn it on? It's a magic washing machine. You have to talk to it. OK. Washing machine, wash the clothes. Say the magic word. Oh, please. No, abracadabra. Oh, abracadabra. Goodness, this is harder than I thought it would be. Right, Ben. What does the wise old elf do now? Next on the list, the elf school. Good morning, children. Where's the wise old elf? Today, I'm the wise old elf. Ahem. <clears throat> Magic always leads to trouble. 
<laughs> so, what's today's lesson? We've been building a robot. You can ask him anything. OK, where am I? You are on the moon. That's not right, is it? Uh, maybe ask Laura. OK. <clears throat> where am I? You are at the bottom of the sea. Hmm. How would the wise old elf mend it? He'd probably disassemble the bias kernel, Boolean geek logic, Higgs, Boson, Quark, and then rewire them. Even if I had the foggiest idea what you were talking about, can you see me doing that? No. OK, magic time! <laughs> dee dee da, dum dee. Ah! My ears are wiggling. Now, where am I? You are. Here. You can't get more accurate than that. <laughs> Hello? Nanny? I know. Your ears are wiggling. Which means you are doing magic. Stop it. Stop it now. I do not like magic. Now, Holly, what is my next job? Um, magic school. Oh. Good morning, children. I am Nanny Plum for today. Good morning, Nanny Plum. Today's magic lesson is magic always leads to trouble. So, don't do magic. The end. Is that it? Yes. Now, I think I'll have a little nap. So, this is Nanny Plum's bedroom. It's all flowers, bunnies and cushions. Lovely, isn't it? At least I can have a little sleep. Ah! It's so soft! It's not a bed, it's a giant pudding. What's next? The wise old elf has a little nap. So, this is the wise old elf's bedroom. How could a room be more boring? Ow! That's not a bed, it's a plank of wood. Wise old elf, please report to Elf Rescue. Oof. What now? You have to sit here and wait for the red phone to ring. If the red phone rings, you launch Elf Rescue and save people from deadly peril. Are the biscuits? Yes. Oh, goody. Oh, how can a bed be so soft? Oh, what is it now? Nanny, I want a snack. Nanny! OK, Your Majesty. Aha, jelly. Your snack, King Thistle. Lovely. What is it? Jelly. Oh, that's magic jelly. We don't want a jelly flood. Oh, oh, there's not going to be a jelly flood. But all it takes is someone to shout, Magic jelly, more, more, more. Who would be foolish enough to shout magic jelly, more, more, more? Whoops! Jelly flood! Jelly flood! Can somebody answer the phone? I'm busy eating biscuits. Nanny, you're in charge. Oh, all right. Hello, Elf Rescue here. It had better be something important. Um, uh, I seem to have made a jelly flood. Can you rescue us, please? Okie dokie. Elf Rescue a go. Launch everything. Elf Rocket A-OK. -okay. Elf Plane A-OK. -okay. Elf Helicopter A-OK. -okay. Thank goodness you're here, Elf Rescue. A jelly flood isn't a job for Elf Rescue. It's a job for Nanny Plum. Magic time! Thank you, Nanny. Being you for a day wasn't easy. And it wasn't easy being you either. Ah, I'm Nanny Plum again. And I'm the wise old elf. Good. Everything is back to normal. Hooray! Can I celebrate by turning you into a frog? Don't even think about turning me into a frog. The very important person.
Watson. Look what's come in the post. What a fancy envelope. It looks very posh. Let's see who it's from. Dear King and Queen Thistle, I have decided to come and visit your little kingdom today. I'll be arriving at dinner time. Yours sincerely, King Leopold. King Leopold? Yes. Never heard of him. He's heard of you, Daddy. Just think, a king. I'm a king. No, but a proper one. We must give him a royal welcome. He's a VIP. What's a VIP? A very important person. I'm a very important person. What is everyone getting so excited about? Have you heard the news? A king is coming to visit. It's written down in writing. Brilliant, isn't it? A real king. I'm a real king. It's so exciting that a very important person is coming. I want to tell everyone. I want to tell the marigolds. Hello. Hello. Queen Thistle here. Oh, my little sister. How are you? I'm fine. I just thought you'd like to know that we have King Leopold visiting today. Who's King Leopold? A very important person. A VIP? Oh, my goodness. A VIP? Our castle's bigger. Why can't the VIP come here? No, thank you. King Leopold wants to visit us. Oh. But maybe you could come and meet him too. Oh, yes, please. We're having a party in his honour tonight. We'll be there. Bye. Usually the marigolds laugh and laugh and laugh at us, but this time we'll be different. <laughs> We've got King Leopold coming to visit. We must start preparing. We'll have to make lots of lovely food. I'll start cooking straight away. We'll need a red carpet and the little children can wave flags to welcome King Leopold. And we'll have beautiful music. Now, children, everyone pick an instrument. Then you can play the spal throttle. OK. I've got the thump warbler. <coughs> and I've got the trimpy trumpy. <coughs> I think I'll have the fairy harp. Ah! Magic instruments! It is meant to be an elf and fairy band. And we fairies always use magical instruments. Oh, very well. Just a little magic, then. OK. Here's the magic piano. Hello, I'm a magic piano. I sing and I talk and I play. Ah! Too much magic. The wise old elf doesn't like magic. Ah, oh, sorry. I'm not a magic piano. I'm just a normal piano. I don't talk, really. My turn. A magic triangle. I can't bear to look. Oh, a pretty triangle. What's magical about that? Just don't ask it for free wishes. <laughs> ah! Would it be OK if we played some rock and roll? Rock and roll? Certainly not. We're playing for King Leopold, remember? OK. It was just a thought. Now, let's make music. Good work, everybody. It's looking great. Where's the food? Nanny Plum! There you go. I've made spaghetti vongole a la truffles. Yum, yum! This food looks delicious. Better than the usual stodge you make me. That's because King Leopold is coming to dinner. <sighs> Have all the little children got their flags to wave? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they do that for me? Because... I know, I know. I'm not King Leopold. And we need music. Where's the band? Here we are. We've been practising all afternoon. Oh, good. It's nearly time. Everybody into their seats. I can hear footsteps. Someone's coming. Hooray! 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 Here he comes. Let's start the music. Hello there. 
in all. Get out of the way. We're waiting for a very important person. Oh, yes? Who's that, then? King Leopold. That's me. <gasps> you? You're King Leopold? Are you an actual king? Oh, yes. Where's your crown? I keep it under me hat. <laughs> But why have you never told us before? Oh, I don't like to go on about it. Don't like to go on about it? You sent us this flowery letter asking for a feast. Yes. Well, if I just drop in, I find people usually send me away. But if I send a letter as King Leopold, I get a bit more of a welcome and a dinner. It works the first time anyway. Can I have this pie? Uh, yes, I suppose so. <laughs> Very nice. I know a fact about pies. Do you want to hear it? No. no. I'll take that as a yes. Pies are never found in the wild. They have to be made by someone. <laughs> <sighs> All that... Effort and King Leopold oh turns out to be the gnome. Yes, mm. it's an outrage. <laughs> oh, he's still a king. And you've all been making such a fuss about a very important person coming. Daddy is right. Yes, we should still welcome King Leopold. Especially after all our practice. Let's enjoy ourselves. We've got a party with music and lovely food. Yes, I suppose things haven't worked out too badly. King and Queen Marigold are here. Oh! oh, no more pies. What's this? It's spaghetti vongole. OK, I'll give it a go. What will the marigolds say when they see that? <laughs> They'll laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. And here we are, darling. Where is King Leopold? Uh, well, he's there. There? <laughs> he's that Nerm King. Look, he doesn't even wear a crown. Oh, I keep it under me hat. How humble he is. How modern. Oh, I feel positively overdressed. Me too. From now on, I'm going to wear a sack. Can we do the song now? Oh, yes. Uh, <clears throat> King Leopold, may I present the Elf and Fairy Band? Lovely. Excuse me for interrupting, but I couldn't help noticing you've got a magic piano. Hello there. And no offence, but that fancy whiffy waffy music is a waste of a good magic piano. Do you know any rock and roll? Rock and roll's my middle name! Wise old elf, do you like rock and roll? Rock and roll? I most certainly do not like rock and roll. I'll take that as a yes. Over to you, Mr Piano. A bee bop a doo da a doo da do. Oh, if I must, bump your boos and wiggle your woo-ahs. Thank you very much. Oh, that was fun. I'm going to enjoy staying here. Oh, dear. We're stuck with him for weeks now. This Gnome King is incredible. If only King Leopold would come and stay with us at our castle. I don't see why not. Just mention pies and he's all yours. I say, old boy, would you like to stay with us for a few weeks? There will be pies. <laughs> oh, if there's pies involved, I'll stay with you forever. A bee bop a doo-dah.